Hi everyone, we'll continue our coverage of West 2024 here in San Diego, California. I am now with Ocean Aero, who's showcasing this interesting looking unmanned system. And to find out more about it, I am joined by Oscar Rojas, Vice President of Global Operations. Oscar, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon, and thank you so much for taking a look at the Ocean Aero Triton. It is the world's only dual modality unmanned system. It is both a unmanned surface vehicle, and then upon receiving a signal, within 60 seconds, it can dive down and become an unmanned underwater vehicle. So the dual modality capability allows us to be able to perform many different functions for the end user. So what are the mission sets? For the oil and gas industry, we have advanced sensors where we can inspect oil and gas pipelines. We can do cable inspections and some of those critical infrastructures. So as you transition those uh, capabilities that we perform for industry, they can be used for military use. The Triton has side scan sonars and forward looking sonars where we can start to visualize the seabed and do hydrographic surveys. Uh, in this case, we look for underwater infrastructure, but we could also potentially go look for sea mines that may be in a, in, in a certain area. The, uh, the other thing that we can do is, uh, on the surface, it can serve as a platform to give you maritime domain awareness. So we say that the Triton provides an unblinking eye in the maritime environment because of its advanced uh, ISR capabilities and advanced communications capability where we create a mesh network on the water and then we send all those signals near real time right back to the end user's control center. For the last year and a half, we are transitioning from research and development and training and evaluation over to operational use. And the main reason why is we have now matured the threat detection and obstacle avoidance capabilities of this vehicle. So it is finally a truly semi-autonomous vehicle. It can think and move and do things on its own. For example, on the surface, if it sees a vessel coming near it, it automatically, on its own, without having a human making a decision, it can dive down and, and not become a hazard to navigation. And once it's underwater, we also want to make sure they can do obstacle avoidance. As it's navigating underwater, max depth is about, uh, working depth is 100 meters, but it can go down to 200 meters. And as you're going down, if, if there is a coral mountain, that obstacle avoidance allows the trying to, buy on its own, change the altitude and go over that mountain or go around the mountain in order to not damage itself. What's uh, the endurance and the, and the range? Can you share those figures with us? The, the endurance depends on what the mission is. On the surface, because this is a solar-powered vehicle, it can stay out, out at sea on its own, communicating back to the end user between 30 to 45 days. The biggest challenge that we have it's not endurance, it's really all of the marine growth that after 30 days of being on the water, depending on the water temperature and the salinity, all this algae and, and sea growth starts to grow on the hull of the Triton and it increases the drag, therefore slowing it down. Normal operating speeds are about three to five knots, but when you have all that sea growth on it, it starts to create drag. So about 30 to 45 days of operating on the surface, we have to take it out within an hour, or two, we can clean it all out and put it right back on the water and go to work. Underwater, it can sit on the, on the seabed for eight days in sleep mode. And then automatically, based on uh, pre-programmed pre uh, missions, it'll wake up and then go to work. Or we can send an acoustic signal to wake it up and then it would now uh, change and, and start to ascend and then go do its job. Does it come in uh, different uh, sizes and form factors, or is that is that it? Currently, we only have the Triton. It meets all of the international maritime laws to navigate safely, so that we inform everybody where it's at, and more importantly, we get out of other people's way. You know, we, we don't want to be an impedance to safe navigation. So we are looking at uh, working with different uh, U.S. government organizations. They would like for us to scale up and have a larger uh, Triton, but that is in the initial stages of being uh, worked, that requirement. And, uh, that's the Oscar, so it is in use with the US Navy currently? It is currently being employed 
uh, by some of the U.S. Navy task forces in the Middle East. We have ongoing efforts to move the Trident into Europe so that it is used both by U.S. Navy and also some other uh, allied forces uh, within Europe are very interested in using it. And then we have ongoing efforts to use this in the Pacific as well. Very well, Oscar. Thank you very much. Thank you.